Hello and welcome back to a grocery shop challenge. You know what that means? A little bit of panic from our normals. What do you mean? We've no, got this. No panic this time. We're going to smash it. What I've done is given the boys a mystery bag of grocery shop ingredients. And what I want is three different midweek meals, two portions of each and zero food waste from what's in the bag. Okay. The only other thing you can touch is our very reduced store cupboard. Oh, that is reduced. <laughs> Something of spices and a selection of carby staples. You've got lentils, couscous, pasta, bread, rice. Still lots to choose from. Shall we? Let's. That's a better way of doing it. Just hope there's no eggs in there. Cream cheese. Very familiar things. Bacon, lemon, broccoli. Lots of broccoli. Anchovy fillets. Real butter, garlic, capers. Parsley. Tomato oh, paste. Olives. You know we came into this video with confidence up here. Yeah, it's still there. Is it's it? Still there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's kind of rolling down the hill a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we want half hour meals and you need to make three of them. That's 90 minutes in total, but there's two of you, so we're halving it. You've got 45 minutes on the clock. Cheeky, cheeky, yeah. You love maths, mm. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and hates us. <laughs> it's time to get cooking. Three, two, one, go! Right. Both of these or one of these? Uh, you're going to have to use both of them. I'm going to have to use both of them. <laughs> okay. I saw the broccoli and I thought I could make a delicious broccoli based soup. A really thick soup with some of the, um, the cream cheese and the bacon on top. Also, it should be really quick because all I'm doing is just frying it all in there and then blend it up. Cook it out with some water. Simple. My first recipe, going to keep it really, really simple. We're going for like a, a cheats carbonara. Frying off uh, the bacon lardons, going in with some garlic, a bit of cream cheese, and some macaroni, because that's what we had. Loads of lemon zest and juice at the end. A bit of parsley on top. I think that'll be a winner. Simple. Nice and simple, like it. Now, Evers, I know your little gleeing face usually comes because you think we haven't thought of a third dish. Well, no, I'm on your side, remember? Well, don't you worry, because I have a third dish up my sleeve. That already. is remarkable. I know. Are you making bacon lardons? Yes. Oh, it's just too... I know, I know it's mental, but I need... you may as well do the same pan. No, no, no. This wouldn't happen usually, because I, I wouldn't cook all of my bacon lardons on Monday, even though I'm going to eat them on Monday and we're Tuesday. We're just making crispy lardons, aren't we? Fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some in yours, some in mine. That's fine. Do you know what this is? Efficient. I guess you're right, this is slightly unusual because this is three consecutive nights of meals being cooked at the same time. Later on, I'll do them in a more linear fashion, but they'll all still be under half an hour each. What we've done today is deliberately give you a reduced bag of ingredients. In fact, you can buy all the ingredients, including all of the staples, for less than 20 quid. Give you the six portions across three nights. Do you know what was really upsetting? They would have been less than 15 quid this time last year. And that is why we all have to be very careful about what we're buying. Buy less, use it all. Use it in clever ways. Right, Jamie, I am done. This yes, just baby. needs to cook and I can then step away and blend this later on. What is your third dish? You've only got bread and olives left. Pa bread. on tomat. Bread on tomatoes. So, Spanish, tapas style. Yep. We're going to take the lovely Italian bread and we're going, going to going um, like yeah, tomato yeah, yeah. paste with garlic. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then topped with anchovies, olives. Oh, <laughs> he's, 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 he's making thing. a pizza. Go, go, go. He's no, making a no, pizza. No, 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 it's pan con tomat. Pan con tomat is lovely fresh tomatoes that have never seen a fridge, grated, and then just dressed over bread scratched with garlic. It's delicious. Oh, well, so pan con tomat, stroke bruschetta. So a pizza. Perhaps closer because you're no, using yeah, pizza. Brusch yeah, bruschetta. You're, you're making a bruschetta. I like the, t the, the bread on tomato. What about in a pan, we made the god tomato paste with the anchovies, had them bubbling away, and then just dipped the bread on top of it. Is that what you do? I do it that way. Yes, it's an upside down bruschetta. Ah, oh, bruschetta. No. Because it's, no, bruschetta. You, cool, you know the name of it is bread on tomato. So this is tomato on bread. No. No, bread on tomato. Bread on tomato. Yes. Here's a question for you. Brand new packet of cream cheese, foil wrapper. You use some of the cream cheese. You're going to put this back in the fridge. Do you take the foil wrapper completely no, off? I, I would throw leave, it away? I leave it on. Why? I don't know. Why? I it depends know. on whether it's got an additional lid. That one has an additional lid. Yes. Sometimes you'll buy a pot of like sour cream and chive dip and it just has the film without the lid because they're cutting back on plastic. Then you need to keep the film. Yes. But this is an air seal. This has done its job now. 
Done. Throw it away. Oh, you, so yeah. recycle it is what he means. You don't need it. Yeah, recycle it in that recycling bin underneath the counter. <laughs> We put all the ingredients in these two pans. Yeah. These pans go into the oven to cook yeah. out the garlic and make the tomato go crispy. Anchovies on top of that, and then lay your toasted bread on top of it. Mill. So we are quite literally flipping the concept of bruschetta on its head. Yep, exactly. I like it. I like it. There is your lardons. Thank you, sir. Same question as always. You're a third of the way through your time. Have you finished one third of your dishes or have you finished a third of all three dishes? We've finished 100% of the thinking and that is the important part. Because that never happens. That never happens. <laughs> bit of bacon, huh? bit of caper. Yeah. You assume capers and fish, but caper and well, bacon is nice. If pigs aren't the fish of the land, then what are they? <laughs> Jay, you mentioned that obviously food prices have gone up in the last year or so. They absolutely yeah. have. What we've also seen is shrinkflation, which is the packet size is getting smaller, which is the same as putting the price up. That's what you've probably seen with things like the cream cheese. Yeah. That I've... pot of cream cheese is smaller than the same pot of cream cheese would have been previously. I've lost some weight, but I have put my prices up. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, yeah. Blending up your soup, we've just got 25 minutes left. I don't think you're going to need it all. You're on fire. How much cream cheese do you need? Is that all right for you? Yeah. Yeah, sure? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, well, I was going to put the pasta in first. Why? And then mix no. it with the pasta. No, mix the pasta into the sauce. OK, cool. In with some of our parsley. Cream cheese hasn't reacted quite the way I thought it would. Mm. That pasta's done. Great. Right. Here's more salt on umami. Luckily, we have anchovies. Anchovies going in. So this is looking good. We've got pasta in the first dish. We've got the soup already blended. Now Baz is thinking lemon zest to freshen it up. Lemon zest for your one, yeah? I'm going to use the juice in mine. Yep. Sharing a lemon across two dishes. You boys got the hang of this. Loads of black pepper. Do you want all the zest? Uh, all half zest. Can we use the other half somewhere else? Yeah, you don't mind. Yep, go, great, great. Lovely. Happy with your pasta water cream cheese consistency? I think we could go for a little bit more water. She's thirsty. <laughs> pasta water can be good in a dish. Obviously, you don't want too much or it becomes a bit wishy-washy, but a little bit will help to bind and emulsify any sauces you're making. Chef, thoughts? Or more zing. More zing, more, more, more lemon. I want it, I want, I want it zingier. <laughs> Oh. It's because my glass is steamed up. <laughs> uh, it's, they're looking good, Baz, but I don't know what you want from them. I think they're done. I think it'll just be warm and cooked. What I am liking about this is that Jamie's dish has been a two-pan operation, as has Barry's, and your last dish was kind of all cooked in the serving dish. It's also minimal washing up. Jane, what I've made here, you know they have like an upside down pineapple cakes? It's very similar to that. <laughs> so it's not going to be an upside down bruschetta. While those dishes are cool enough to handle, maybe now's the time to give them a little swivel in the pan. You know, like a tart to tan oh, loose yeah. at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Hup. Like a good... Sandcastle. Like a good creme caramel. I mean, it doesn't look ridiculous. It's quite pizza yeah, now, it isn't is it? Down. You've got seven minutes left. I don't think you need it. Let's stop the clock, congratulate you, and get these into the sexies. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh, has the timer gone off yet? Yeah, was... <sighs> you nailed that. Yeah, we yeah. did. Just speedy, but six portions. Three different dishes, pasta, a really hearty, thick soup, <laughs> and um, pizza. <laughs> well, let's try it. Cheers. 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 Very zesty. Mm. Mm. Cream cheese and starchy pasta water can be a little bit claggy mm -hmm. without that zesty yeah. kick from the lemon, so really nice and quite garlicky too. Some people argue that soup isn't good enough for dinner, but actually, especially when it's this thick, <laughs> yeah. um, you up. it is hearty. Cheers. Yes. Nice warmth and mm. chilli. 
very, very, very broccoli lily. Yeah, it was, was broccoli two soup. whole broccoli. <laughs> two whole heads of broccoli into two big bowls of thick soup. It is more like broccoli puree than yeah. it is soup. Yeah. It has got some creaminess to it. Mm. And again, a different use of the same ingredient, the ciabatta. Whereas this, which is pan con tomate meets bruschetta. pizza meets bruschetta, a sensible use of all the same ingredients, plus the olives and the anchovies. Cheers. Really yummy. I think actually the richness of the tomato paste, mm. rather than sieve tomatoes, the pan compact is mm. needed in here mm. to fight against the other flavours. Mm. More parsley on top, but otherwise delicious. Really affordable cooking. Three distinctly different dishes that you wouldn't get bored of having in three consecutive nights. I mean, you've nailed it. Comment down below, what would you have done? And join us tomorrow where I'm gonna show you what the food team and I would have done with exactly the same ingredients, plus a few extra tips, hacks, and tips. Here's your chance to properly show off, basically. Yeah. Squeeze a few tips in.